Welcome fellow clams and fashion fans. It is your host Galadon and it's another exciting episode of Gold Pass Clash of Clans where we find ourselves just as the average clasher. That's right. Now it's been about a month since we've seen one of these episodes. So I'm going to be covering a ton of content in today's episode. And obviously, yes, comparing myself to the average clasher because I have a great deal of non-scientific and fundamentally inaccurate statistics to go over to compare ourselves to the average player in Clash of Clans. Now, of course, we do get a gold pass every season on this account, and that alone puts us above average because by my calculations, the average player spends less than a gold pass per month on their accounts. Now, of course, Supercell never shares any statistics as far as player spending or even player activity, but I have done my own non-scientific research and found some of the averages to be relatively random. And I'll go ahead and go over those shortly. In fact, let's start now. Let's talk about how much time the average Clasher spends playing Clash of Clans each day. It appears to be somewhere around 48 minutes. Now, again, you have to remember that this is not accurate and it completely varies from the wildest numbers of players that spend 12 hours a day and those who spend 12 seconds a day. But among players that log on, that seems like a relatively normal amount of time. Now, if you are using super troops, you are ahead of the curve because it turns out the majority of players don't use super troops at all. And that could be part of the reason that according to my own personal research, the average attack in Clash of Clans brings in just under 200,000 in combined resources, gold elixir and dark elixir. And of course you need to include those players that are attacking in Legend League, those players that are attacking for trophies. Dropping trophies also would bring the average down and farmers using those sneaky goblins, you're the ones that keep the averages higher. Speaking of higher averages, it does also seem intuitive that the overall trophy counts in Clash of Clans should be increasing over time. As players go up in Town Hall, they increase all of their defenses, their walls, their troops, their heroes, and they gain trophies. It appears the overall average trophies gained per attack is around 1.1. Again, these numbers are not scientific. I have nothing to back this up other than my own research. But it seems overall, of course, players should be increasing their trophies just as I'm sure you are if you're working your way through the town halls. Now, why does this all matter, Galadon, you may ask? And, well, fact of the matter is, it doesn't. Because, simply by being here, watching this video, you are automatically above average, far above average, in fact. And I'm not just saying that because you're watching a cool YouTube channel about Clash of Clans. No, technically, it is very true because... The majority of players do not go so far as to watch YouTube videos, and those that do generally have a much more extensive knowledge of the mechanics of troops of the game itself, and they miss fewer war attacks. Okay, so you can see right here that I've been rambling on for about three and a half minutes, and we've gotten to the point where it is February. And clan games have just completed. We picked up the February pass. I promise you we're trying to get as close as we can to current day and time for this account right now. But like I said, I've gotten behind and I think part of it was because of all of the controversy that's been going on in Clash. The updates, the balancing, the nerfing, the buffing, the increases in defensive levels. And that is going to get covered in today's episode as well. You can see that the progress base in this account is not up to date and that's because we do need to move stuff around from that most recent town hall 16 update that didn't really seem to help out defense much at all now going back to the averages and just simply to summarize yes by being here you are above average but at the same time i would like to continue my non-scientific study of clash averages i would love to hear down in the comments how long you play each day and how many accounts you have, because although the average Clasher throughout the entire game probably has about 1.15 accounts, I'm guessing the average Galadon Gaming Clash of Clans YouTube channel viewer is roughly double that at 2.37754981 accounts per player. And yes, obviously you guys are passionate about the game, as am I. And I will tell you this, 
as an average player, if you disconnect yourself from all of the social media rumble, mumble, jumble, rubble, rumble, rabble, rumble, uh, I've heard it called rubbish rumble, but no, the point is, if you disconnect yourself from the discontent that so many people are expressing on social media, Clash of Clans doesn't feel that bad to the average player, right? It doesn't to me, and I consider myself pretty average. It's fun to win. It's fun to win attacks. It's fun to upgrade hero equipment. No, I can't max it all out, even as a gold pass Clash player, but that's okay. The progression is meant to be slow. The slower it is, the more rewarding it is when you achieve max level. It's just common sense, and I think that so far, that seems to be working for Clash of Clans. Now, the bigger problem is that Clash of Clans itself is an aging game, and Supercell has not released a new game in six plus years. So adding more passes, trying to squeeze more revenue out of an existing game is not always the greatest idea. And although I don't think we've gone full Clash Royale yet, I do think the potential, a dangerous potential exists for this to happen sometime in 2024. If we see events every single month and new Epic Hero equipment every single month, yes, it is going to become overwhelming for players. Add that to all of the other stuff going on, the packages that are showing up. It, is it my imagination or are the packages showing up a little more frequently and are they a little more expensive than they were a year or two ago? Tell me if you agree with me down in the comments on that one because I, again, unscientifically speaking, it feels like Clash is giving you the opportunity to spend a lot more money, but we will not do it. No, here at Gold Pass Clash of Clans, we will spend the $6.99 a month and that is it. And here we are as a mature Town Hall 16. Now I still have about another month's worth of footage to catch up in the next episode, Whoa. so watch for that soon. In the meantime, we go to the status report where we watch the trophies hover Whoa. around Champion 1, Titan 3, the gems. We spent some, you saw that earlier today. The heroes, everybody gained significant Aha. levels except for the Royal Champion. And we did about 16 walls, so 128 wow. to go. Come watch a live stream on yeah. kick.com slash Galadon. Thank you so much to those of you that still support the channel by stopping by the videos I love, think about, it, and appreciate every single one of you every single day. So get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and you be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. And I hope to see every last one of you back here again tomorrow for more Sidewalk Cracks. Donald, you're quite all right. You know what they say, the brain is the first to go. Hmm.